For nearly 80 years, a local school has been teaching students who've had their eye on the sky to find out what it takes to fly. But this school teaches the fundamentals of aeronautics long before takeoff. And in today's economy, students hope that knowledge will give them an advantage in the marketplace. On Q contributor Harold Hayes takes us to the Pittsburgh Institute of Aeronautics in West Mifflin and shows us the work they do down here on the ground. My name is Jeremy. I've, uh, I've enjoyed the company uh, of your sons, your brothers, your friends for almost two years now. Graduation day at the Pittsburgh Institute of Aeronautics. For Jeremy Aaron from Washington, PA, it is another step along the path of a dream rooted in his family history. This one was in World War II. This one was like Grandpa Aaron learned to fly in. With his nephew Jacob by his side, Jeremy bridged a couple of generations within his family that played a role in why he came to study here. My grandfather instructed uh, pilots during World War II. Uh, my father flew helicopters in Vietnam and uh, was a maintenance officer. And uh, I have an uncle that builds home-built experimental aircraft. So I've been around it in one way, you know, You've way or another. I've been around it. <laughs> That's right. But it really wasn't my first choice. I attended Penn State, Maine for journalism and English. And uh, you did the right thing you got out of that. Yeah, that, <laughs> that's right. I, I came out and did pretty well there, but uh, there weren't a lot of jobs. You know, I guess the economy couldn't uh, support another starving writer. So I said, that's fine. I'll go with my second love. And that's where I am now. Where he is, is at a school right next door to the Allegheny County Airport. And after you do it, you take it all apart, we put it back together again. We can hook it up, and we can run it. A school that teaches a bit of everything about aircraft maintenance. The institute is almost 80 years old. It was created from a company called Curtis Wright Flight Services. Wright, by the way, was Orville Wright. It was leaking up here, too. Andrea Ireland of Brookville, Jefferson County, has some aviation history, too. History in close proximity to the school. Whenever I was growing up, my stepfather was in the FAA. Uh, he was an air traffic controller. I used to come out to this airport, and uh, he worked at a few other airports as I was growing up. I would sit in the towers with him when he worked the midnight shift, and watch him land the planes and stuff. But the mechanical operation of the planes she watched as she grew up intrigued her more than the control tower. I really liked working on the engines because there was a lot more thought in that. We do do uh, like the sheet metal and hardware and stuff. That's already thought out where with the engines you got to troubleshoot things. It's more in depth. You know, there's more there's a thickness to the program. But the road to West Mifflin was much longer for Victor Udechuku. Actually, I did uh, come from a long distance. Um, all the way from Nigeria, I came to the States uh, to look for a better life and to find a career that I can really be proud of. So after basic electronics, uh, you are taught on how the radio works, you know, navigation systems in the aircraft. So I was really interested after my classes there. One day, I would love to work in the aviation industry as an aviation maintenance technician. We want to measure the amplitude of the sine wave on the scope here. How do we go through that process? The instructors know that given the current economy, they have the chance to give their students something invaluable these days, technical skill in the aeronautics industry. Some of them know the realities of the marketplace. The company that I previously worked for went out of business. And I taught at a local community college uh, part-time, and this job was available. Bernard Adams has been teaching electronics for nine years. He tells his students something they'll need in the competitive marketplace now. Focus, concentrate, keep on task. It's a challenging world, and everything today is electronics, electrical based. I usually tell the students, open up your car. When I was young, I could fix my car. There was no problem. Open up the hood on a car today, and there's an assortment of wires, um, computer modules, and you have to know what they do. And that's the same way with our airplanes, that you have to know where those wires go, what they do, and how to troubleshoot them. You're missing some safety wire up here. So the students look to what they hope will be a bright future, 
The U.S. Department of Labor says job prospects for aviation industry mechanics will increase as older mechanics retire, but the other factor affecting their future, according to the Labor Department, is a long-term trend toward fewer students entering technical schools to learn skilled maintenance and repair trades. The department says if current trends continue, it's possible the supply of trained aviation mechanics may not keep up with the needs of the air transportation industry. There was a lot of stuff that I didn't know when I did come here, you know, and there's a lot of stuff that I know now, and every part of the program is really important. And it all comes back like from first quarter to second quarter and third quarter. Whenever you take your tests, like everything's very valuable. So But you think the seed was planted up in that tower? I think so. One, two, three. And the seed for Jeremy Aaron, remembering the aeronautical seed planted in him by his family has a plan for the future. And there's the aileron. I would like to be a pilot mechanic. Everybody always says, you know, well, which one do you want to be, pilot or mechanic? And I said, well, I want a job that I can do both. You know, I'll fly the plane until it breaks, and then I'll be the guy to fix it, you know. And people tell me, people that own companies I've been interviewing with say that's a pretty uh, valuable set of skills to have, to combine the two. Jeremy Wayne Aaron. As co-salutatorian of his class, Jeremy says of all the technical knowledge he learned here, he's coming away with a very basic lesson. I guess the most important lesson I learned was the importance of paying attention. And that is all anyone can ask of an education.